What's up everybody? Viper here, and today we're going to be playing Imperium Galactic Survival. I previously made a video on this, but uh, it was pointed out to me in comments that I was using the wrong version. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end up deleting that video and uh, just starting over. Just so I don't get bad information out there. Um, but there's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. We're going to end up starting a single player survival game. But you can uh, you can do co-op, single player. You can join different servers, and there's many many servers on here. And you can set up your own server. You can rent different servers. Uh, there's just a whole lot you could do this, and it's got a really great uh, workshop community that uh, you can download their uh, different designs for ships and ground vehicles and carrier ships. Uh, there's just so much that's involved with this game so we're going to go to single player start and then you got survival freedom creative or scenarios scenarios have a bunch of different things with them all right so i'm going to go into survival and i'm going to name this i'm just going to name it viper um, the seed, you can find seeds uh, or use a seed you like currently, or you can randomize it. Difficulty settings, if you go over here, you get all kinds of different difficulty settings. Player progression, how fast you get your XP. I'm just going to leave it on normal. I'm going to leave everything the way it is. Um, but you can go in here and change up the, the difficulty. And then you've got your planet size, medium, large. I'm just going to put it on large. And then you have starting locations. The first one it gives you is like the easiest. You'll say planet difficulty, easy, breathable, yes. And a bunch of other stuff here. But uh, it's to start, you get your, you'll, you'll land in your escape pod and you'll have your basic equipment, which is like your drill and just a few things. And then uh, inside your escape pod, it'll give you like a water or something, something stupid. But then you got other different planets you can go on, depending on your your the level you are or how experienced you are in playing. Like this one has no breathable atmosphere, so you're going to have to find some water and uh, change it into oxygen so you can uh, be able to breathe, so it's a little bit more difficult. And then you have your the one without the tutorial, which starts you off at the wreckage base, gives you a little base to start off with, and it gives you advanced equipment. And that's for advanced people that know the game, really. So we're just going to go ahead and start off with a basic planet and go ahead and get started. All right, here we come down in our uh, escape pod. You can kind of sort of steer it. I'm just kind of looking around for different different POIs. I kind of want to go to this water. Hopefully I don't land on any spiders. Nice, we got uh, some dinosaurs. None of those are dangerous enemies. So at least I don't have spiders running around or right beside me. Alright, I'm going to get around and look just to make sure there's nothing going to kill me starting off. Alright, we're going to go ahead and follow the <clears throat> Robinson protocol. And then it'll, it'll come up and tell me what I got to do. So you're going to open PDA which is F1. And then I'll tell you, uh, greetings commander, blah, 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 I'll tell you what to do. And then it gives you experience points and uh, upgrade points for doing these different things. So we're going to go exit window when you're done. Just hit this PDA log. And it should go up, give us the next... Uh, 
next task we got to do. I'm going to go ahead and take this purified water, put it here, and it tells you to open your inventory. All the little quests are on the, the right-hand side underneath your temperatures. So I'm going to open the, my inventory with the tab button. It says we're going to eat an energy bar. So we're going to shift and right-click, and we'll eat it. Now use the health pack. And now we're healing. All right, just waiting for the next uh, thing to come up. It'll survival mining tool. All right, so we're going to take our survival tool and put it down here. And then once you have your survival tool up, you got uh, your right mouse button and go get defense mode, resource drill, and salvage. So it wants us to harvest some stuff, so we're going to go to resource drill. And you just go up to the, the ore nodes, which is, this is just stone. But with this version, you can dig in the ground. And for the few that saw the last video, the older version, you couldn't. Alright, so I'm just going to mine some rocks real quick. This is all stone. I don't really need a whole lot of stone right now. I need copper and uh, iron and silicone. I'll get some of the stone while I'm here, but I really don't need that. Alright, craft. we got to harvest some, uh, some stuff to make... Uh, energy bars and these little plant proteins hot dogs whatever you want to call them that's what you need for uh, to make energy bars so you're gonna open the tab and you're gonna go to survival constructor and then you're just gonna hit your left mouse button on your little energy bars and that's the food you get there's different types of foods that you'll later on in the game be able to make but that's like the easiest one you can eat you can find berries that you can eat raw and fruit and stuff so that's making let's go and grab some copper this is copper do I see any iron iron is bluish alright we're going to open our map and we're going to go to some distress signals so that's over here I hope that's near the water, because that's usually a good place to find silicone early on. I'm going to put my defense mode back on, in case there's any spiders. There's a lot of ore nodes, but they're all sand. Alright, these little guys, if you stay far enough away from them, they won't bother you, but if they get close to you enough to hit you, they'll stun you and then they'll have stuff on them if you hit shift and uh, F for me it'll pick the stuff up without actually having to look in the inventory no iron where's iron how much stone do I have let's grab just a few more I'll probably get plenty of this stuff when I actually go and uh dig a hole but just in case speed up this process of uh, the uh, tutorial and these these guys don't hurt you you can run through them and be happy Ooh, there's a lot of copper here there is some dinosaurs that that are dangerous and they're like little raptors And there's spiders here that will attack you, and um, there's a lot of creatures by the water. There's one weird one that's that'll kill you pretty quick early on, unless you have a weapon to fight it. These big guys aren't dangerous unless you attack them. They're just kind of chill. There's a spider's nest over there, so... 
And if you, uh, oh, there's some iron there. Get away from me. On the, uh, spider's nest, playing on the experimental, if you, uh, dig underneath them, there's usually, like, a box or something under there. I'm not sure if that's in his version. I'll find out sometime shortly. Alright. Those guys are done. Resource drill. Let's get up this iron. Man, if this resource is bringing me closer to that uh, nest, I might just go ahead and check it out now. The spiders ain't really that hard. They're they're kind of quick, but they're they're easy to kill. And there's one right there. Crap. They will poison you. So let me get some distance from them and get this back in defense mode. And they usually come in like groups of threes. But just uh, kind of kite them and run backwards. And you should be able to kill them pretty easy. I think there's one still there, but I don't I don't need them really. I just want this resources. Give me your resources. Oh, this is silicone. And then that Promethean that was on the uh, planet description, that's what you need to make... Uh, all the fusion cells and stuff and the, that's what powers all of your equipment well it also the fuel does too that you make from uh, from plant fibers but the fusion cells give you a lot more power for what it is and hopefully I can get some auto miners pretty quick and then I'll be able to set those on those uh, Promethean. Oh, crap. Man, that damn spider scared the crap out of me. Defense mode. Ooh, ooh, a lot of them. They will poison you if they get you. And then you gotta find the uh, herbal. herbal something or other to. and mix it with some other stuff to make. Uh, to heal yourself or you could just die and respawn in but as long as you're shooting them they'll usually run away from you and then come back so it's definitely a nice nice bonus of those guys and I really just want to grab this uh, resources while I'm seeing all this stuff This is actually a whole lot better than the uh, outdated version I was playing on yesterday, or earlier today. There's way more resources in this one. Just out farming. Alright, I'm going to try to remember where that spider's nest is and come back to this. Because there's just so much resources here. Alright, let's get over to our... Where we got to go. Opportunity. Pick up any other stuff in the way. If I could stop getting distracted, we'll get there. But it's like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. And then it tells you the iron deposits over there. And it's underground. These are underground deposits and you'll dig down. Either with your drill or um, you can get a vehicle that has these like drilling things on them. Just drills or whatever and you can drill down it's pretty quick. It'll take me a little bit of time to get one of those. but. It shouldn't take us that long. 
Damn, so much candy. All right, let's hurry up. And nighttime is usually a when on when you'll those. You'll start seeing those. Damn, I can't even think of the name. The little raptors come out. Well, that's normally when I see them. And there's this big old bug with it shoots crap out of its butt. That usually comes out at night, and this weird alien kind of blob thingy. But for the most part, it's it's easily avoidable. And then you could use your uh, your tent that they give you. I think they give you a tent. They got a tent. Yep. And you could sleep till daylight anyway. All right. So now we're here. This place is actually a lot bigger. I was looking for the door, and it's right there in front of me. All right, so these are the boxes. It has a bunch of stuff. I'll go ahead and take all this mess. I'm going to leave these in here for now. These are uh, seeds that you use to make plants to grow stuff. So I'm not going to be growing anything anytime soon. But you can make your own seeds from the plants you harvest in the ground. Alright, we're going to unlock and craft a portable constructor. So we're going to go to F3, which is up here, this one. And then we're going to go to miscellaneous, that's in miscellaneous. And then portable constructor. I double clicked it, but you could just one click it and then go to unlock. And my last video I said there was no shields, and there is shields, so I'm so happy about that. I like those when I was playing the experimental. I'm glad they're actually in the game now. Alright. Oh, I need to craft this stupid thing. Alright, we'll go to survival constructor. And then we got portable constructor. And it's being built. Eat this. While that's building, let's see if we can't find some more food. Did I go away from the water? I gotta find that water. Just looking for easy food. This is uh, plant fibers. You won't need to know what that. You won't need to collect a bunch of plant fibers like that after you uh, get your chainsaw and are cutting down trees because it's just. So much easier just to cut down a bunch of trees. But I will collect them now and kill all these little stupid little things here. So many times I've been digging in the ground and then one of those things will fall in the hole and I'll be using my uh, my drone, um, which is F5. Yeah. And you can fly around with your drone and you can uh, dig with it, or you used to be able to. Can you still do it? Yep, you can still dig with it. So it's good if you got a, if you want to dig somewhere straight down, and you won't actually have to go in the, in the hole yourself. All right, so the constructor's done. Let's go ahead and take that out and put it in our hot bar. And I'm just going to put it over here. Where's the door at? I'm going to put it out here by the door. You can't put them on any kind of building. Like, anything you've built, you can't put them on it. Which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why that is, but who knows. Alright, so now we're done with that part. So we're going to go back into... Oh, it's actually let me start from here. So we're going to the next part. And it should start up. And I gotta craft a motorbike. So you got this survival constructor. And you gotta put your materials that you use to build stuff in it. And then to craft the bike, 
it's right here and it tells you it needs a motorbike construction kit which is right here and that needs the motor nanotubes optical fibers and all that mess but you don't have to build all that separate pieces just go to the actual motorbike hit the button and then it'll build everything it needs to uh, to construct that so you don't have to waste your time trying to figure out exactly how many of each piece you need it'll just construct it all which is one thing I love about this game so you don't have to busy yourself making all this small little BS pieces so that'll build and it should give me a little thing when it's done Where y'all keep coming from? Hey, hey, hey. Stunned. If you get stunned, it's hard to move. And it's not a it's not a horrible thing if you die in this game. It's um You just respawn back closest to where you were. If you have if you have a bed, then you can spawn in your bed or not your bed. A respawn station. What am I thinking? Bed. All right. So that the uh, motorbike construction kit's done. So now it's actually building the motorbike. And then I'm gonna build some, make some grilled meat on the other side. And these little things don't require fuel. These portable constructors. So I'll end, I'll end up using those to make a bunch of uh, fuel and stuff. I'll probably build four or five of these uh, portable constructors. And use them to uh, smelt copper and iron and all that stuff. I'm going to eat that. Oh, I'm stunned again. And I just died. I wasn't paying attention. See, that's what happens you don't pay attention. But the great thing about it, it's it's not a hard process to uh, to come back. You just respawn at your current location. Or you could do a fresh start. Uh, if you got a actual base set up, you can spawn in there. Alright, so now it'll tell me where my backpack is. So now I'm about to run over there, grab that stuff, run away from that guy and kill him oh no none of that damn it shift f shift f little fucker and this place has a nice uh solar array up here but you got to be careful when you actually start really building your base you kind of want to have a lot of resources because after so many days, the uh, these drones will start attacking you. If you don't have defenses set up, uh, they can mess up your base. And I like to have my base underground as well. All right, little jerks, where are you at? So now we got a motorbike, and it took us was a lot faster than uh, yesterday because we had to do a bunch of other stuff. So you got the motorbike, you put it... Oh, that's got me again. Little jackasses. These guys are being a really gonna be really annoying around here. All right, I want my meat. Take that. Take that. All right, it says craft a weapon and a detector. All right, weapon. It's right here. I can make a pistol now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it and some ammo. And this will give me 25 bullets. It's going to make two of those, so it's 50. 
and then I need a detector. All right, the bike is pretty pretty simple. You get on it. It doesn't require any uh, fuel or nothing. It's not really that fast, but uh, it'll get you around from place to place, especially if your uh, if your vehicle gets blown up or you lose your cockpit and you get stuck somewhere. At least you'll have a a way to get around. Get some more of the silicone. I need to hurry up and get my gun so I don't have to keep trying to switch that. Because it takes a little bit of time to be able to switch it to uh, defense mode and harvest mode. I don't know which button I push to get me into first person mode when I'm on here. But I like to be on third person. Just when I'm driving that. Alright, back to the base. Grab my, uh, my pistol. And my detector. Put this away, this way, this way. Put all that madness away. Alright, we're going to take a, uh, let's see the detector gives you, uh, you see that on the map on the top right where it's red? That tells me where my closest POI is that I have not detected. So if I go that way to the south, it'll, it'll show up a POI. It could be resources, it could be a enemy base, it could be all kinds of different things. A spider's nest. But I'm just going to follow the uh, uh, the tutorial for now. Actually, i got to figure out how to get that back off. I can't remember what button it is. Options. Controls. V. All right, V. I've been playing too many games, so I'm, I'm forgetting controls and crap. All right, so we're going for the yellow thingy. This uh, unknown alien artifact. Most of the time, or at least last time I played through, I'm not going to be able to even get up to it. Uh, or get anywhere where I can get any of the resources that are in it. But we'll have to see when we get there. Because a lot of these alien artifacts, you need a, a jet pack or to be able to even be able to get uh, up high enough to be able to get the resources. Buddy, you can make it. Oh, no, he can't. Let's go ahead and pick you up, and I'll walk up here. And I'll put it back down. Alright, starting to get dark. Oh, really? I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my... Uh, tent down and just go to sleep right here all right so we got daytime and I'm gonna shift and F it to pick it up so now it's daytime this little bike is uh, the little bike that can't right now doesn't like hills.
What section of the map am I at? Alright, there's no danger areas. There's three different factions in the game. The Xerax, the Talon, Polaris. And you'll see a different color on the map for each territory. And it'll be like outlined if you're about to go in it. And the ta Xerax are always hostile when you first start. And that's right here. And it tells you what you can do to make them friendly or to make them hostile. But normally you'll have these two and you'll you'll do stuff to uh, befriend them. And you'll end up just pissing these guys off even more and more. Or at least that's the way I, I usually end up doing it. Damn, how far away was this? Man, this guy was way far, 1.7 1, 1 kilometers. I should have picked up my uh, survival constructor. Because now I'm going to have to drive back there and go get it. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. More spiders. Alright, after I go to these, uh, this alien artifact, I'll probably end up driving back. Off camera, and then uh, we'll just start up tomorrow back at the base. And again, I apologize for anybody that actually watched me uh, watch my other episode one, in case they got any bad info or anything. And oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I did not want to drown my my vehicle. I'd still be able to pick it up, but then I'd have to go and. I don't know if I have to go in a deep water. Alright, so we found it. Is this one is the ones I'm going to be able to get to? No. Alright, there's nothing I can, or at least not that I know of, how I get in here. There might be a way, but normally I just go get a s small craft. Oof. A lot, of, a lot of spiders. Get away. Damn, there's a lot of them over here. Holy crap. Back away. Oh no, they can get up here. Stay away. Back off. Alright, where are you at? I want to kill all y'all. You get decent XP from killing stuff and harvesting stuff, so... It pays to harvest and kill stuff. If you're in friendly, like... The Xyrax, not the Xyrax, but the Polaris and Talon guys, and you're killing these spiders and stuff in their area, that'll make them like you more. Alright, so that's good. Oh, is that thing pushing me? Oh no. If you hear that weird ass screaming, those are nightmares and uh, some other kind of craziness that I don't want to fight. So I'm going to leave it alone till I have a, uh, a ship. And then I can just hover over there and just shoot the crap out of them with the. Uh, oh crap, there it is. I got to go. I really don't want to fight that thing right now.
Now, one thing I really like about this game is the, uh, the, the workshop. If you go into your tab and you go over here to blueprints, you have a bunch of uh, stock blueprints that comes with the game. And you have different ships, small ships. Uh, and it tells you what kind of, uh, under the resources time, it tells you what you need for each thing. The On the right side, what level you need to be to have all the stuff to unlock it. Um, SVs are small vessels. HVs are hover vessels. CVs are carrier vessels. And BAs are bases. So you got different types of bases. And these are already in the in the game when you start. And then you have ones that you can download. And you can download all kinds of stuff like Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Um, there's Defiant from Star Trek. There's just all kinds of different stuff. Nebulon Frigate. I'm not sure if that one will still work. Mon Calamari. Uh, the Viper from uh, Battlestar Galactica. You can get little drills. Just all kinds of stuff. Little Snow Speeder. X-Wings. A-Wings. Whatever. But once you... Uh, once you have whatever blueprint you want, you just go to two factory and then you'll take your stuff from your inventory and then put it in that box in production. And then your resources time will go up and you just got to have all these different resources. And once it's done, you'll click start production in the production tab and it'll take eight hours or however long it takes to, uh, to make that. And you could just, you just bring it in. You just, once it's done, you you click it and you place it, and then you have your ship or whatever. I think that's kind of really great for uh, just the different types of things you can build and make in the game. It's just it's a whole lot different than just the standard games like in No Man's Sky and stuff, where you can have all these only a certain amount of ships, and the storage there is horrible, and you can. You can have a lot of storage. You can, and it doesn't have quite as many resources as No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky's got like a, I don't know, a whole lot of resources that you need to farm. And this one's only got maybe, I don't know, ten, eleven, twelve. But they're not they're not hard to do, uh, to get. I'm gonna end the video here, and tomorrow we'll pick up and construct the hover vessel. I'm going to go ahead and drive back off camera just because it's, uh, it's going to be a long drive. and I doubt I'm going to be doing anything important on the way back. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.